All right, this is a boxing Africa.com exclusive with Isaac Royal Storm Dogbe in his training camp in Keta, Bota region of Ghana, as he prepares for a rematch against Emmanuel Navarrete. Isaac, Hello. welcome to BoxingAfrica.com exclusive. Thank you. How are you guys all? Yeah, we're doing good. We hope you're also well. I'm always favored by God's grace. All right, so we, we will ask you, has it been difficult for you getting over losing the belt to Navarrete? Well, I will say yes and I'll say no. No as in, um, as in the fact that everything will give glory to the Almighty God. You know, when we win, we give thanks to God. When we lose, we give thanks to God. That it is his own doings, you know, he's a... Uh, He's, he has his own plans, and um, you know, magnanimous in victory, magnanimous in, in defeat. So in all things, we just have to, you know, keep our spirits high and um, just work, you know, and come back stronger. So mentally, how are you feeling? Right now, mentally, I'm in a good place. You know, it's been difficult getting over it, um, but I mean, it all comes down to having great people around you you know, and um, people who, who, who are supporting you, both physically and both spiritually, people praying for you, people rooting for you, people sending you messages and well wishes, you know, telling you that, look, it's just um, a minor setback, but you're gonna come back stronger. What you've got to do, just go back to the drawing board and, um, you know, just keep working and you'll come back. And um, right now, my father, has um, pitched our training camp here in Keta in a peaceful place and um, I'm really enjoying it, you know, just taking each day as it comes, step-by-step -step approach to the rematch of May 11. So going back to the first fight, was there anything about Navarrete that surprised you? Well, you know, we knew Navarrete was, you know, he had a great record. We knew he was strong, you know, we knew he's a comfort fighter and people fight, you know, there are a lot of things that um, happened prior to camp in my last fight, you know, I had, I sustained a lot of injuries and, you know, during the build up, the time, I had to be taking a lot of time out and, um, you know, when it, when the time got closer, I was very, I was really struggling to make weight, you know, all these things played its part and, and all took its toll, you know, so when I go into the ring, it was more or less like I'd, I had already fought a battle before going into, going into the real battle, you know. And um, I mean, every, we're always learning, you know, we're always learning. So God willing, this time we, we know what to expect and just have to, you know, just do the right things. You spoke about the struggle before the fight, but what actually went wrong in the fight itself, if you your view um i mean i wasn't fit enough you know i was tired as the fight was going on you know my eyes were swollen you know all got swelled up and um yeah i was just too tired to to you know to actually to fight you know i did what i could and um i guess i wasn't strong enough you know for Navarrete. at the uh, during the fight, and um, I believe that this this trip is going to be something very very different. You know, we're gonna. I mean, like I said, I'm in a good place right now mentally, and um, we're doing a lot of work here. So, I mean, it's not about the work. The work takes its part, but in the end, after all is said and done, after everything is done, we look up to God to open the heavens and give us victory, like He always does. So you know, say that it was a matter of you being overconfident. You know, I never lacked confidence. You know, despite all the disadvantages during camp, I was always hopeful because it wasn't. That wasn't the last time I've had to go through an adversity. I fought for world title fights. I fought for world title. And I fought water contenders with one hand. You know, whilst I've 
whilst I had um, an injury on the other hand, you know, so, and I've knocked them out. So going into the fight, despite all the disadvantages, like I said, I was very, very hopeful that, you know what, this should be a walk in the park. But I guess sometimes, you know, you take two steps forward, you have to take one step back. And um, I, I, I learned my lesson and I, um, I paid for it dearly. All right, then after the fight, you know, Sam called for you to replace your father, who has been your coach and trainer ever since. You know, what would you say to that? Well, you know, even when I was winning, they were still saying I should change my father. You know, I should bring at the level that I've got into right now. My father, um, she, she, she step aside and let a new person take, take control. But look, my father was in Ghana and I was in, 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 I was in London training. You know, my father left me with, a, with, with another person and um, look what happened. You know, so many things happened. So, no, I believe that what people are saying, they don't really know what they're talking about. They can say things from the layman's point of view. But if the person is producing results, why change it? If nothing is not broken, why fix it? You know, we have to... My father knows me more than anybody else. You know, he knows my weaknesses. He knows my strengths. He knows where I have to improve. And constantly I'm learning. You know, I'm always learning new things. You know, and always... You know, I need my father to be around me. You know, constantly. I'm a young man, you know, so... There are a lot of um, temptations and everything around. I need someone who have who give me his full attention, who, who have me, you know, constantly be around me to guide me, you know. This is this, this not, this not just about boxing, this is a life journey, you know, so I have to have my father around me. That's right. So you already spoke about not having a good training camp and, you know, struggling to make with before the previous fight, you know, so what, what are you do, doing differently this time? Well, you know, that's what we moved away from all the, you know, busyness of any other place, Accra and all those places, and just come here, secluded place, you know, calm environment, everything. You know, right now we've been here, just I have um, these other boys who are here with me in camp and um, constantly we're working, we're working on things. My father is here as well, you know, full time. So constantly we are doing stuff. Constantly we are learning new stuff. Constantly we are trying to, we are we are improving on, you know, on on the, on on my weaknesses, you know, and, and always, um, you know, have finding ways and means to adapt, finding ways and means to right all the wrongs that um, happened in our last fight. Yeah, you've spoken about you know. In sparring, training here with the guys who are helping you in training camp here. Will, will it be enough for you or you move to the US for other sparring sessions before, you know, the fight? Well, you know, we will be here, um, you know, um, we'll be here, we'll do all our training here and um, we'll move to America maybe Hopefully three weeks before the fight, three four weeks before the fight, you know, because just to get used to the weather and just to get used to the environment and you know do all the other necessary stuff, you know. But I think my father can give you a total run rundown of everything that um, is to go on. So what about sparring? Will you spar somebody in the US or you know do you are um, content with these guys here? I'm not. I'm not sure. My father can give you the full, you know, details of our stuff. Right now, my only concentration is what we are doing right now, taking each day as it comes, step-by-step step approach. So, how, we already spoke about you being good. How about in your health and nutrition-wise, what's happening? Everything is fine, you know, like I said, my father has taken control, you know, he's here, we are, I mean, everything is going well. You know, he always makes sure that I'm seeing um, someone comes in to massage me, someone comes in to stretch me, everything. Everything is going well. So we just, now we have a full cap and everything is going well. 
and let's say finally we are expecting you to bring the title you know and you have also assured us you do it but in the ring this time what must you do differently in the ring against Navarrete to 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 win this rematch on may 11. well may 11th is a big day you know and um we have to right all the wrongs we have to go there and take Navarrete's heart you know and i know that by god's grace the same vigor the same aggression the same love the same you know passion that we we captured that we used and we captured the uh the world title you know last year we will be bringing that same even more and big, bigger and better this trip into the ring and um you can't take nothing away from him on Navarrete. he's a great guy he's a great fighter he deserved it you know he was a better man on the night and um, um all i can say is that Oh, everyone that was praying for me, cheering me on to go for the world title last year. I'm also I'm still calling on the people of Ghana, people around the world to continue to remember me in their prayers also, so that we bring I bring the title home once again. And I believe that by God's grace and um, and uh, the favor of the Holy Spirit in the favor of Christ Jesus, he will do so. Finally, are you going for a knockout or you just play, you, look, you just go for the win anyhow it comes? You know, I've always said it, you know, I don't chase for knockouts. When a knockout presents itself, we will take it with both hands. You know, we're not afraid to, to we're not afraid for a challenge. This is this how we are built for, this is what we are built for. And, um, I believe that God has given us everything, you know, to to take control, to you know, to 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 go out there and just make known that His power still exists, you know, that His glory still exists. So bringing the glorious back, glorious days back again, those happy days, those you know happy moments when people were jubilating, people were dancing, people were singing you know all praising god and um you know all the happiness that people felt when i won that world title we're bringing it back so god willing we're going for knockout this time when the knockout comes we'll take it all right thank you very much and good luck thank you and god bless you thank you